A pirate I was meant to be Trim the sails and roam the sea Hey, Big Daddy! Welcome to this installment of my favorite point-and-click adventure game of all time. And let me tell you something, brother. My favorite one is The Curse of Monkey Island. You guys let me know what your favorite point-and-click adventure game was of all time. But I tell you what, to summarize kind of like my teenage slash childhood, I gotta say, Monkey Island, Guybrush, Threepwood, and the whole clan just filled my days and nights with such positive humor, boys, that if I ever felt down and sad, you know those days when you're a teenager and you think that, you know, the whole world is against you? I just put in the Curse of Monkey Island and I just put myself in, or the game actually put myself into the greatest of moods. Now, boys, the premise of this game you are a mighty pirate, and this is a sequel to various other Monkey Islands that came out. But you are not really a mighty pi pirate, more like a goofy pirate. Guy Brush Threepwood, and Elaine is your wife, and she gets kind of kidnapped by the evil pirate LeChuck. And what you gotta do is you gotta go on a quest. It kind of reminds me of kind of like King's Quest. Remember King's Quest? Kind of like the same type of game, but you have to go on a quest to kind of get her back. And uh, you just go through so many funny twists and turns. The one thing I loved about this game, if you are parents out there, th nobody dies in this game. Everybody lives, including Murray. Remember Murray, the skeleton guy? That guy shows up everywhere in all the games. The game is very, very fun. You gotta go take part in all these cool mini games, boys. I just love it because the key in the game is you gotta go out and gather a crew. A pirate crew, get yourself an old clunky old ship and sail the sea in order to save your wife. And it's funny because nobody takes Guybrush Threepwood serious. And would you take him that serious, boys, if he looked like that? But you gotta prove to every pirate on the island that you are the real deal and you want them to sail on your ship. So from mini game to mini game, all the mini games are so amazing, boys. I'm pumped up just talking about it right now. I wanna pop it in right now and put on my pirate patch, boys. Here's a, I just, just so pumped up right now, but like there's a game, a mini game where you have to battle in a guitar duo, like a banjo duo. Show it to you right here, boys. And then there's another duo where you have to like fight with swords and using insults and everything. It's just unbelievable, boys. I am just so pumped up talking about this. The puzzles are doable, I think from age ranges from 10 years old all the way up to uh, who knows what. You guys could figure out the puzzles. And I like how there's not too many items in your inventory, so you're not all weirded out by all these different items. That's the thing about current generation games. I find it that it's too confusing. You're picking up hundreds of items, but in this beautiful game of The Curse of Monkey Island, you don't have to worry about that. Also, the game does have a lot of fun humor. And like I said earlier, if you're ever in one of those moods, you know we all get in those moods where you're ever feeling down or sad, put in the Curse of Monkey Island, boys, and I guarantee I'll put you in the greatest of moods because it's just that great of a game. So I hope you enjoyed this, boys. And before we sign off, I'm going to give you my favorite pirate joke of all time. And here it is. What do you think a pirate's favorite type of movie is, boys? Think about it. Here we go, a movie that's rated R. I know, don't quit my day job. Anyways, boys, thanks for stopping by. You made my day, ain't gonna lie. If you haven't yet, please share, like, and subscribe. And boys, come and join the Hank Gaming Tribe. I'm out of here, brother.